I moved from using Debian based distros and went to Fedora. Couldn't be happier. Yeah, I feel like there's a good there's there's like that that spectrum of distributions. You have uh, for desktop distributions for n just normal users. <laughs> I would say there's Debian, which is more on the stable side of things and kind of like the tried and true. Most guides are written around it more, more newbie friendly, I think. And then you have Fedora, which is a still a stable release, but it also has much newer packages than Debian. It moves a little faster. The kernels constantly update. So the kernel never really stays the same. So you get a little bit uh, newer stuff. And then you move to Arch, and Arch is obviously your bleeding edge where everything's brand new. As soon as something's patched and released within a week, it's probably going to hit the Arch branch. So there's that spectrum. And depending on what kind of user you are, you might be a Debian user, you might be a Fedora user, you might be an Arch user. But I feel like those are the three main distros that everyone should try when coming to Linux. And depending on where you land in it, uh, that's that's kind of my thought process when I when I think of um, choosing a distribution. It just depends on what my goals are. If it's gaming and that type of thing, definitely like a Fedora or Arch would be my uh, my suggestion. But if it's more productivity based, more business oriented, obviously I'd lean heavily on Debian. Uh, it just like I said, it depends on what kind of user you are, and that's that's kind of where I'm at. What do you think of OpenSUSE, Tumbleweed specific? I'm just, I know a lot of people have uh, a lot of good things about OpenSUSE to say. It's just too niche for me to ever recommend it. You know, it's, it's not a bad distro. It's just, I don't really find OpenSUSE to be great, but it's not bad either. It's just kind of meh. I don't think I'd ever want to run it as my main just because it's kind of obscure and it's kind of where I'm at. Like I said, I'd stick to those three that I labeled, even though I know there's a lot of people that do really like OpenSUSE. What's your opinion of Kali Linux? Is Debian testing based? Do a minimal uh, install of it and build it up. I mean, why not just use Debian? Why not just use regular Debian testing? Why would you choose Kali Linux unless, I mean, Kali Linux to me is just like someone in the, getting into the security realm, but doesn't know a lot about Linux. So they're just kind of want a good tool set to, to break into some of the uh, security aspects of, you know, becoming like a security researcher or something like that, uh, or an ethical hacker. Uh, that's the, for who the Kali Linux crowd's for. It has a good tool set for that, that niche. But if you actually know Linux, like, why bother with Kali? You would just install Debian and then toss your net Metasploit. And um, I forget what the other tool set is that Kali Linux gives you. Um, it's been a while. I, I don't do much ethical hacking, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, but I, I just, yeah, that's that's my views of all these splinters. And I get tons of emails like, try my distribution. I'm like, dude, it's just Debian with some extra packages. Like, why? Like, I think you could eliminate 90% of all these forks in Linux distributions and no one would blink an eye. It's just uh, facts. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, that's, that's what, it, what it is. And you know, it's, it's fine. Like, like I said, distributions, all they really are is a package manager. So is it using apt? Is it using zipper? If you're open, is it using DNF or yum? If you're doing a rel based distro, is it using Pac-Man or the Paru yay for arch based, you know, that's the package manager. And then when you get into the actual meat and potato, the, the distribution, all it is, is just a culmination of decisions that have been made for you in, in packages that are installed with the package manager. Okay, did you you're gonna go KDE or are you gonna go GNOME for the desktop environment? Okay, it picked that for you. Do you want to go with this? That's all distributions are in Linux. It's just someone making those decisions for you because you just don't know what decisions to make. So when some people distro hop, a lot of times they don't even understand this, and it drives me crazy because it's like, dude, you went from like elementary OS to pop OS. 
it's the same damn thing just with a different desktop environment it's the same package man you literally could have uninstalled that disk desktop environment install it over here configure it a couple things differently and it'd be the same it's like so maddening that people think linux distributions are so different they really are not different most of them are just based on debian if we're being honest like debian has most of the forks i think i think they're up to almost a thousand different distributions forked off of debian because debian is inclusive of ubuntu which is forked from debian and god knows how many forks of ubuntu there are forks of debian you got mx linux you got parrot you got uh jeez oh, cali linux earlier in chat i mean I, we could just sit here all day naming distributions based on debian and uh that's the thing that drives me most crazy about like the linux desktop community it's like a lot of people don't even understand the base it's like why 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 just it's linux it's linux it's just a package manager with with just a couple different things reassociated it drives me bonkers and people just don't get it they just don't get it. It drives me nuts. Drives me nuts.